I'm going to practice decision making with American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this particular exercise, I just want to focus on decision making when you get your drawn tiles. I call it Charleston modeling. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell so you don't miss anything. I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. We're just going to say we're the dealers, so I'm going to get 14 tiles for each random pull, and then I will create a mock Charleston so we can practice decision making with incoming passes. There's the mock Charleston. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. No multiples, but look, we've got jokers. So when this happens, I just go category by category and find the most tiles that I can start with. So I see a lot of two, four, six, eight. Let's just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven. The other potential is consecutive with three, four, five, uh, two, three, four, five. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Clearly, two, four, six, eight is going to be the way to go. So I'm just going to pull all my two, four, six, eight together, and that gives us our discards. And you don't pick a hand, you just stay in the category. All we care about are the tiles in the category. We're going to collect every 2468 flowers and dragons. So let's go ahead and pass these three and see what we get. Okay, any jokers, just put them back. We got a two. Now we have 2468 complete, and we even have tiles we can pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. No keepers, still don't have to pick a hand. There's a keeper. So we have an eight. Now we pick a hand because we've run out of three, three tiles to pass. We've done right across left. We're on second left. I would not stop the Charleston. I would pick a hand. So for these, I think what I might do is the two, four, six, eight, second from the top with pairs of eights just because we have them. And maybe go ahead and give up the four crack because there is a two, four and one suit, six, eight in a second suit in two different options. So we'll give up that one four crack. There's a two. So that's the second multiple. I want, or that's really the first multiple. We just picked up a single eight. Now we have to pick a hand two here because we only have two discards. So I want to build around the two. That's the most strength right there. So we have a two, four, eight, and then we have a two, four, six, eight. Let's see if we do two, four, six, eight, eights and two suits or two, four, six, eight, maybe we can go ahead and give up a two. Or we could give up the four and maybe even switch to like numbers with twos. Let's pass those three. We got an eight and now we have two tiles to pass. So we have to look at a hand again. So we have two, four, eight, two, six, eight pair single. I'm still thinking maybe the two, four, six, eight hand with the pairs of eights that would use both multiples. Another thing we could do is two, four, six, eight with the dragon, we would need a red dragon in this case, and that would be for the third hand down. Either way, we did not use the two band in any of those scenarios. So that's what we'll pass. You just go through a process of elimination that will reveal the discard. We got a white dragon. That's not going to be helpful, and I would not pass it. I would actually pass blind. So I'm going to pass these two. So 
so we have discards three discards but we we probably won't be able to keep all of this let's see what's the strongest potential maybe two four six eight uh two four six eight let's just check it out pung pung and then you know kong kong it's the let's see second from the bottom under con two four six eight so that would leave five discards if we played the two four six eight second one down two four then we'd need these to be the sixes and then eight eight we would have six discards so i don't think that's going to be good the other option was the third hand down with dragons which we don't have we'd have to use these two four six eight dragons that would be five discards so i would say it's between the third hand down or the second from the bottom now the third hand down is a 30 point hand no it isn't it's a 25 the second hand down is a 30. so i think i would hold these as long as possible get rid of the white dragon first because it's valuable and we'll have no use for it get rid of these and then decide once we get to this point but i think two four six eight pair or pung pung kong kong i think that's probably what i would play if we happen to draw a red dragon that dragon hand might even be stronger if you would have done something differently write random pull one and what you would have done and i'm going to mix for the next pull Here we go. Okay. We have a seven three. Those don't really go together. Seven three. We do have almost news. So let's, I don't think news, unless we play a pair hand and get rid of these, I don't think we're going to be able to use those. I'd rather use these right here so i think because we have the six seven i think i would keep these for joker bait and try to break all these up here maybe let's pass these three get rid of a wind let's see we have an even and an odd in a wind that's a pretty good pass so i think six seven consecutive run six seven yeah Okay, here's a five. Five, six, seven is a little better because it gives us more options when you're using mixed suits. Let's pass a wind. There's a four. Four, five, six, seven. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. I really don't feel good about passing a green dragon and a one bam because of the big year hand. I think I would go ahead and break up the three right now and pass these three. There's a six, keep it. Four, five, six, seven. And I would keep the white, pass these three actually i think i would pass these three so i'm not passing a one bam with a white dragon because of the big year hand i think we could pass these three there's an eight so now we have four five here's a five bam now we have two multiples five and seven five seven i think we can get rid of the eight the one in the north so we have four five six seven Let's pass these three. There's a seven, and we have a two north white. I would not pass that. That would fit right into a year hand. I think I would pick a hand using the multiples. If we build around the five, seven, we could play consecutive runs, second hand down, four, five, six, seven, pung, pung, 
Kong Kong. So we don't need these. So we have a pung of sevens. So I think I'd like to hold the seven and maybe we could pass these three. It's a little risky with the evens there, two six, but it's better than passing a white dragon. Okay, we got a four. Four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, and we have tiles we can pass right there. Okay, we've got three, eight, six, four, well, five discards really, but this hand is one away from being set. That means we can act on each co uh, component of the hand. We have, we could pung here, pung here. We need one more tile here, whether it be a six crack or a joker to Kong, and this is ready to Kong. So we're one away from being set, five discards. I think I would probably discard that first. And because it seems that people are rarely putting out flowers with jokers at least early in the game i think i would get rid of that early in the game and then start getting rid of these if you would do something differently with these tiles write random pull two and what you would have done we'll go to the last one Okay, look at all these dragons. And we've got two, eight, one, two. Even though we have no flowers, I think we should play the big year hand. Eight tiles towards the big year hand. Eight tiles. So as an option, we have two, eight, one, two. Let's pass six, seven, nine. Let's keep the five, six, seven and pass these three. Because if, if we get multiples here, we could maybe do something with these white dragons and corresponding tiles. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We got an eight for the year, two, zero, one, eight. And we might even be able to switch to news with the year. So let's pass these three. That's a little risky, but we're playing a big hand. There's an eight, we already have an eight. And I don't know, I don't think I would pass that. So I think I would go ahead and give up on the eight and probably pass these three. We, we need a flower. Oh, there's a two, that's not helpful. Let's do 265. No keepers. Let's pass those three. There's a white, although we don't really need it. We could keep it though for the big year hand. Did I just pass a wind? I forgot. Okay, no, I'm good. Okay, now that Oh, that looks pretty, pretty bad. I don't want to pass a white dragon. I'm not going to do that. Let's give up on the wind and mix that up. I like to pass defensively. Get rid of that. Oh no, we didn't get any um, flowers. We got a gap. Let's pass these three for optional cross. Okay, really? Five discards, but we have the big hand here. 2018 with green, 2018 with red. We need a flower and a one crack and then pair up. So I would hold the dragons, I think, and collect wins while getting rid of these. Maybe keep the one bam 
So I think I would pass the, or discard those first and then work on the big year hand. If we don't get a flower and draw in wins, I might switch to the noose year hand, which is the fourth one down under single or under the 2018 year category. I think this is a really great way to practice with decision making. You never know what kind of tiles you're going to get, whether or not you get jokers, flowers, multiples, or all singles, or maybe even four tiles in each suit, all number tiles. It, it's a little, you know, uh, overwhelming sometimes when you get those tiles and you're not sure which direction to go. This really, I think, alleviates that stress. So if you have a set at home, try it yourself and let me know if it alleviates that stress for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos and for when I go live. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.